So I'd like to take you on a, a tour of our kitchen. Um, we currently are serving between six, seven hundred meals a week just with Holy Ground, and our kitchen no longer meets our needs, um, primarily in the terms of cleanliness. The presence of wood in a kitchen is no longer allowed by code, and we have lots of it. It cannot be properly sanitized and uh, um, needs to be removed and replaced with stainless steel. We have walls in the way where we would rather not have them. We have a convection oven that works very well, but is directly vented into the kitchen, adding to the heat and discomfort of the people cooking here. Um, we have cooked thousands and thousands of meals out of here. I've cooked thousands of meals, and I enjoy cooking in this kitchen, but uh, it, it just no longer meets our purpose. We are hoping to revamp this and make it a clean and efficient kitchen so that we could continue to feed everybody because uh, I was reminded last week that uh, um, the table is our representation of Jesus and without the kitchen what's on the table. Hi I'm Eric Kozer. I'm the chair of the property management committee here at Centenary. You know in Minnesota we have furnaces to heat and air conditioning systems to cool the places where we live and work. Here at Centenary we have these two Heating in Centenary is done by our boiler. This large boiler right here keeps the place warm. We replaced the burner in this boiler just a few years ago to make sure it's running very efficiently. The air moves through the church with several large air handlers like the one I'm standing next to. These are large fans, much like the furnace fan you have at home. And our cooling here at the church is handled by three large air compressors. This one here on the roof, a second one over here on the roof, and a third one that's down below in the parking lot. These machines have worked for us well, but they are 40 years old and they have spent, we have spent a lot of money on them in the last few years doing some replacements. You may recognize this unit here at the church. This is one of the three air conditioners. This one cools the sanctuary. And together these systems do a great job of keeping our property comfortable. It's our goal to replace all three of those air conditioner units to provide a comfortable and safe environment year round here at the church. Thanks for your help. So here it is, below zero, and the words of the famous senior group, the drifters, were up on the roof. There are seven portions to the roof of Centenary, and each one of those seven has had its own problems over the years where we have patched it. There are two very important parts to a building, the foundation and the roof. And if you don't take care of the roof, all the other projects will be nullified. Okay, we're here to talk a little bit about what our uh, committee has been working on, and that is the flooring in the uh, commons area and in the heritage room behind us here. And uh, we think we've come up with some uh, really good solutions to our maintenance issue and also to enhance the beauty of the area. The flooring that we chose is uh, a wood look um, LVT, which stands for luxury vinyl tile, and it'll be a very warm color, a beige uh, type of color that will complement the brick in the space and be much easier to maintain and uh, also warm, uh, attractive looking uh, uh, type of flooring for us here. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of activity going on right now in the commons area, uh, but that area for sure was one of our uh, main concerns and how to uh, keep that area a little, a little cleaner and a little fresher looking with the uh, usage that it's getting these days. And uh, one of the other things we'd like to do in the commons area is to improve the, the lighting, not for the quality of the light, but more the look of the space to make it more of a cat feel and to make it a very inviting space for uh, our congregation and for visitors by having uh, some suspended pendant lighting and uh, maybe some sconce lighting around the edge to just soften the space and make it very inviting. So we hope that that will be uh, an attractive addition. Welcome to Centenary. I'm glad you're here. Quick, grab a cup of coffee. Oh, isn't that something we can all agree on is a nice cup of coffee? Well, it's no surprise that our building committee, as they were going through thinking of creative ways to add a more welcoming presence to our building, came up with the idea of a coffee bar in this hallway space. Imagine, instead of a long, dark hallway, 
We've got a brightly lit coffee bar. We've got people greeting you as soon as you come in the door, a place to ask questions and get directions. And when you put it together with our kitchen and our commons updates, it would increase our welcoming value exponentially. We're so excited to dream big in this campaign, and I think that this is probably one of my favorite ideas so far. This video shows what the sanctuary would look like without the rear dos. Removing it opens up the room and makes the window the focal point. Other updates for the sanctuary include lighting and projection improvements to enhance worship and theater. So, it's me again. On the coldest day of the year, I was on the roof. On one of the warmest days of the year, I'm inside. Am I really the gay that you want directing this building project? <laughs> but one of our dreams is to make our office much, much more welcoming by removing this wall as well as this wall and taking out the counter and having an all glass front with glass doors leading into the office. This makes it much more welcoming and much more light for our office staff. Hello, Mike Mitchell here at the back parking lot entrance to Centenary. As you enter the building, you can see the brick wall behind me. It was designed and built in the 70s and I would assume with two things in mind, no maintenance and energy efficiency. It has probably met those objectives over the years, but as we all know, things change. An initiative is currently underway to create an extravagant welcome for those entering the building and a potential project within the capital pro campaign that would support that objective. So what might that be? I've been thinking about light. Do you know there are more than 270 references to light in the Bible? And by the way, I did not fact check that with Pastor Michelle, but in Genesis, it says, and God said there will be light and there was light. I'm standing in a somewhat dark area as you enter the building it would be nice to add a bank of windows above the coat racks behind me that would allow outside light to shine through. Modern windows today can be maintenance free and energy efficient. It sounds like a project that can brighten the welcome of our guests and still be efficient. This would be a relatively small dollar project of all those that have been suggested, but I think would go a long way in welcoming all into our doors. Thank you for your support of the capital campaign and a bright future for Centenary.